What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, we are back with the Microsoft Surface Pro. Uh, it seems like you guys are pretty excited about the unboxing, so I wanted to give you kind of a live demo of some of the different features uh, that I have messed around with so far and play a game on screen for you. So one of the nice things is that you can kind of go very easily back and forth between the type cover, um, typing and using the mouse down here to click things, uh, and the touch screen. So for example, I'll swipe up to unlock the screen and then I can go right down to the mouse and I'm controlling this, uh, you know, the, a pointer just like you would in any normal computer or laptop. This is Skulls of the Shogun, a game that is one of the first cross-platform games um, available for Xbox, Windows Phone, and Surface. Now, it controls pretty well with the mouse, but it's even better with the touchscreen. Um, this is an asynchronous game, so I'm playing against my brother right now. He took his turn. It's a very cool game. This one's only $9.99 in the Windows Store. Um, and I'm playing against him. He's on an Xbox, so it does have very cool cross-platform functionality. Uh, he's taking his turn here, wrecking my guys, and the object of this game is to basically take down your opponent's skull warriors and then kill their general before they kill you. Um, so in a second here, I'll have a chance to take my turn, and you'll get to see how the touchscreen really comes into play nicely. Um, and also with internet browsing, I'll show you later how you can switch between the mouse and the touchscreen very easily. So I'm going to drop the mouse down to the corner here. Um, and as you can see, I can select any of these guys very easily, any of the things on there. I'm trying to, to show you so you're able to see uh, better than than most. It's hard here with, with just two hands. I wish I had one more. I can zoom in on the map. Uh, obviously, very, very high quality screen. I feel like this is just as high or better than any iPad I've ever messed around with um, or had, and uh, it looks just so crispy clear. Um, turn up a little volume here for you guys now that we're going to actually get into the game. Uh, let's turn it down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to move some of these guys around. So you'll see I want to, for example, uh, he has one of his guys hiding here in infantry, so I'm going to try and move um, some of my guys to go take care of him. First, we're going to take our general, and if I hold him, I cannot drag him around. Now, normally this would be controlled with the mouse or with the control stick on Xbox Live, uh, but it, it works perfectly here. I feel like I have full control over the guys. Obviously, minute movements are a little bit harder than full-blown gestures, uh, but I can get where I need to go. Now, he is stuck on a bush. That's why it looks like he's moving around crazy here. Uh, but I'm going to eat this skull here. I'm not going to really go into the, all the mechanics of this game. I uh, just want to mainly show you the touch controls, show you the level of graphics that I can achieve, uh, and keep things pretty fun. Of course, there's achievements, just like in Xbox uh, 360, and I do have my Gamertag Sync, so I'm acquiring all of these achievements uh, on my profile. And it, it is um, compatible with both. Uh, both versions are giving me achievement points, so the Xbox version and this version are both giving me achievements. Um, I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to draw, drag this guy over this way. I feel like it, I feel like I have full control. Like I don't. I do not worry about my capability of using this at all. No, this guy can't be attacked. He's hiding behind a, a wood log here. I only have a 60% chance of attacking that dude. Kind of a risky maneuver. Um, can quickly, again, use just about anything here and uh, very easily maneuver my guys on the battlefield and feel like I have full, full blown power and control over what I'm trying to do. The game is very responsive, and for an asynchronous game, it's just about perfect for the surface. Um, I'm going to quickly jump out of this since you've seen a little bit of this now. If I hit the middle button down here, it takes me back to my main screen. Um, you'll see that this is, I now have installed Microsoft Office on here, and here's where something gets very interesting. Now, if I click on, say, Word 2013, um, it's going to take me to a desktop. And basically, I have a blank document now that I can mess around with, and I can type uh, just like if I was writing a letter or like, you know, hey, Mr. Fireman, I love you. Uh, and so it, it works just like you'd expect. Very nice and simple. Um, you can type just nice and good. Um, again, I can click this button and right away I'm back here at my sort of surface screen, if you want to call it. Um, at any point, you can hit desktop. And desktop is going to take you to this. Now I can minimize things with the touch control. Um, and like, for example, here is the internet. And I was looking at a review of the surface. And what, what comes into play really nicely here is that I can scroll up and down this website that is, is kind of optimized for tablets, just to let you know. But it, it does look very well, uh, very in place. And I can, you know, you easily use my mouse go up here, I can type in a website, you know, we'll go to ESPN.com, and I'm, again, this is where the, sort of that dual functionality comes into really great play. It's something that I think this takes much better advantage of compared to the iPad, and why, if you're looking for more of a workhorse slash power horse slash computer, this is a better choice for you. Um, because I can, I can type in the website and then quickly go and scroll through, and then before you know it, you know, I'm watching, I'm scrolling through, I'm watching clips on ESPN, I'm clicking on things. Um, the screen is big enough and high res enough that I have no problem clicking on anything that I want to click on. We want to go to the NFL here, Hello, NFL. I can zoom in with double tap, um, just like you'd expect. I can zoom out, zoom in, and again, it, it, when I have two hands, it works so fluidly to be able to go from, hey, I'm going to type in, you know, this website here, go to youtube.com slash ghostrobo, and before you know it, boom, 
you're right there on the website, and then I can use my fingers to touch the screen, pick a video, and boom, we're watching a video. Now, of course, this has all the things that you'd expect, and oh here's me talking about Dead Space 3, uh, all the things you'd expect um, that an Apple tablet does not have in terms of um, being able to watch all the videos online, and et cetera, et cetera. Now, well, let me cancel out of this. Come on. Okay, close all tabs. There we go. So again, you have you have a basic desktop screen that you can fill with any app. I can download Steam on this. I can install games. I'm sorry, my hand's shaking. I'm going to switch here for you. Um, and again, it has just really nice switching back and forth between the two. And it doesn't feel cramped. It doesn't feel too tiny. Uh, the tablet is big enough. Now, an interesting thing is if I pull off the side of the screen, I bring up a side menu. It gives me my clock. You can customize this how you want. Um, I can go in here to settings, devices. I can output this screen to a bigger screen, I can share things, I can search, you know, we can do search through everything, and I was like playing Skulls the Shogun, so I type that in, boom, instantly we're back there, I can resume game, and take my turn. So this thing is pretty darn pumped to the brim with features. Uh, I'm going to keep messing around with it, and anytime I find something really cool, I will show you guys, uh, but right now it's functioning as a very cool hybrid. I don't know how that fits into everyone's life, but it's functioning very, very nicely. Um, just again, as, as another comparison, so you can see screen size, this is a Xbox 360 game case. Um, and it's about one in that third of those. Again, just in case you missed the last video, iPad mini, the screen on the iPad mini is about, again, similar size. One, it's about one and one third times as big. So it's a very healthy si screen size um, and looks just freaking fantastic. I'm actually really enjoying this so far. One of the only problems is that there are not a whole ton of apps. Of course, the Windows Store is far smaller than the uh, App Store, but again, cool features, scrolling through with my hands, I can also scroll through with my keyboard, whatever you want to do. Um, it's not the most lap-friendly tablet. I think you need this thing to be set on a table so you can use that back kickstand and have the keyboard flush uh, with the surface that you're putting the surface on. Um, but again, very nice and nifty. You know, we go here with Spotlight, they have service picks, top paid, everything works. Super cool. I just click this middle button down here. Bam, and we're back at the main screen. So hope you guys enjoyed this look at the service. If you did hit that like button, add your favorites, if you want to see more or a specific feature, let me know in the comments below. I would like to make more videos on it because I think it is actually a really cool piece of tech, and I know not a lot of people have seen these or have them. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and hope you guys have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, guys and girls, we'll see you all later.